LASO, the land and hold shore operations that we have in Darwin. Um, that will be identified to aircraft on the ATIS where they can expect to hear LASO in progress. Um, and the two types of, of LASO that uh, aircraft are involved in are active LASO and passive. The active participation is a, an endorsement that's required and that means that the landing pilot is going to land on the crossing runway but hold short of the other runway. Quite often, if it's your first time inbound to Darwin, you might not necessarily hold this uh, active participation endorsement, in which case you fall under the passive LASO. That means that you're passively participating in the operation and you actually have the full length of runway available to you for your departure and arrival. Ground operations on Darwin Airport have been enhanced in the last couple of years with the MAGS, the signage that's in place now for navigation on the ground. As in all controlled aerodromes, don't be afraid to ask for taxi guidance as well. Predominantly with uh, landing on runway 36, issues can occur with aircraft sort of all of a sudden coming to a stop on the runway and not really being sure about how to continue are moving because all of a sudden they're coming to a crossing runway. What we encourage is that the aircraft know that they have that full length of runway available to them and they just continue on it. Imagine if there wasn't a crossing runway there.